hello everyone and welcome back to my channel if you're seeing my face for the very first time my name is adora and you're watching life with adabeke let me know what made you click how did you find me i ask this so that i can know where to continue to post my videos and know how people keep finding me and reaching out to me if you're an og if this is not your first time seeing me hello welcome back let me know in the comments where you're watching me from let me know you know how you're enjoying this video um as y'all have probably seen from my previous videos and if you've not please please watch my previous videos i'm currently in nigeria um i came back so as to renew my visa you know i'm an international student and i was like i'm very boring i don't be doing stuff so like the vlogs i feel like i cannot give as many vlogs as possible so i was like let me continue giving my um sit down videos i didn't come with all my stuff so i'm really really managing and i'm outside today and today that i tell you to film is the day that it wants to rain so i'm going to try and like film as much as possible before it starts raining how do you like my background that's fine like the finest background in this house with all the greenery so that i can film but let's get on to today's topic <laughs> gotten this question so many times i mean i mean it actually i've gotten this question about you know a couple of times and people keep asking me um i'm applying soon i'm applying this year i'm applying next year and i don't really know how to pick the schools that i want to apply to right i don't i want to be strategic about picking where i apply to and that was one of the mistakes I mentioned when I first uh, when I applied the first time It was one of the mistakes I made that I wasn't very I just applied anywhere that looked interesting and that's not the way to go So I want to tell you guys one of the best ways how you should actually plan where you are applying to how you should pick the places that you are applying to. And as usual, I'm going to share some of my tips with you I'm going to try and film as quickly as possible so that rain does not meet me here so the very first thing is you want to use the MSAR. I've mentioned MSAR before and I'm going to write what the full meaning is because I don't remember right now. But MSAR is a very, very important tool and it has the free version and the paid version. I think the paid version is about $20 a year and I highly recommend paying for it because the opportunity the things that it shows you in the paid version are very very important like but and i recommend paying for it you have it um, open for a year and it's very very important it's a very very good tool and resource for people you should have msar you should be looking at msar msar allows you to filter you're able to filter the schools by in-state, out-of-state, international, and all of that. And it shows you, like, what some of their data... It just shows you everything about those schools. And you're actually able to put all the schools that you want, that you think you want to apply to, compare them on different metrics. You should be... You should have MSAR. You should have MSAR. Take it from me. You should have what? MSAR. And pay for it. Pay for it. Yes, I said it. Pay for it. This one is one of the things. You know, normally I say, hey, maybe this one, pay for it. Pay for it. So, one of the things about MSAR is that they have data, so you should be looking through their data, right? So, a school might say, we accept international students, and then you look at their data for the past five years, and they've barely interviewed international students, talking of accepting. I would not, I, me, personally, Adora, would not hedge her bets on such a school, because you are saying you accept international students, but in the past five years, are you trying to tell me that you've not seen an international student that is worthy enough for your school? I don't think so. So that's something you should look at. Look through their data. Look through like um, if if um, diversity is something that's important to you. Look through their diversity matrix. If you know, just look through if like some you see like the age of participants. So if you're like an older, maybe older applicant, and that's something that is important to you, look through. So you should be looking through MSAR. That's a good. People look through GPA and MCATs and I will tell you that uh, you can look through like what their average GPA and average MCAT is, but don't remove yourself from a place that you want to apply to because you feel like you don't meet their cutoff. Don't do that. Don't sell yourself short. Let them be the ones to tell you no. So um, I will talk about in another video why I don't believe in the concept of like rich schools and blah, 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 all that stuff. So, but don't do too much on like the MCA and GPA look more through like who have they actually admitted who have they actually admitted especially as an international student 
you don't want to go and apply to a school that says they accept international students and has not done so in the last five years you don't want to do that to yourself another thing i did was when i finally had the schools that i planned to uh, apply to i i went through each and every one of them's website and i also emailed each and every one of them so i mentioned that i applied to 20 md schools and six do schools i emailed every single one because i felt like i was in a unique position one being an international student and two being that i hadn't taken a particular class it was biochemistry so i wanted to make sure i wanted to find out if like my biochem like that me not having taken biochem would affect me or not so i emailed every single one of them um i might like attach like what my templates look like when i emailed them and just like ask them those questions I was like i this this is me blah 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 blah. Like, you see all that i'm going to attach it what i said and so that they could confirm to me whether or not they actually accepted international student because in that process i found out that i think it was albany Albany on MSAR it said they accept international student, but they had recently stopped accepting international students So if I, I if I had ended up applying to Albany, I would have like played myself Another thing was the school's tuition type. So essentially this is particular for international students um, And I'll give the equivalent for um, For domestic students. So if you're a domestic student, right? You want to apply your more of your in-state because your in-state tuition is lower right so i would say like if you're domestic prioritize your in-state and prioritize places that accept out of state don't apply to a school that only accepts in states you understand when you like maybe you're applying to texas schools when you're not from texas and you don't have really a hope of getting into a texas school that's like you're cheating yourself at that point for international students there are schools that require you to show four years of tuition in escrow accounts if you do not have four years of tuition to show don't apply there you're wasting your time so check ask them like do you require me to show just one year of tuition or four years of tuition so if you don't have that four years of tuition don't do that for yourself <laughs> i'm sorry y'all like is i planned this thing went outside and then it started raining when i was already there so but i'm almost done and thank you so much for watching with me this far i had to change locations back to the room i hope it's not too bad but next time we're in rainy season here in nigeria next time i'm going to try and be much better so i was talking about like the final thing that is really important to consider when you're crafting your school list is the mission so is the school like research is it more community is it geared towards helping underserved populations so um like what what is the school about other than okay we are teaching you how to be a doctor well, how are they doing that are they doing that through research are they doing that through all these things myself i'm very interested in global health and public health and so it was very important to me to go to a place where that's that um that respected those things that was important to them like that that was part of their school's mission so when i was crafting my school list i was always looking to make sure that the school did something in that line like if a school was like very very heavy into like i know there's one school um i think it's carl illinois it's really into biophysics and uh, that's not my <laughs> it's not my cup of tea so i i may not be as good a student at that place i may not thrive there you understand so but if you go somewhere where you're more likely to thrive that is you know you're more likely to enjoy it kind of makes the med school process more enjoyable for you so and that's really all i have so for as a refresher msar um going through the school's database emailing schools considering things like their tuition finances like is it in state out of state do they require you to pay four years in escrow or is just regular one year being able to show one year and finally the school's mission is it research is it community based do they are they get towards having underserved populations all those things are how I was able to craft my school list and how I got mine to 20 and I guess let me give you guys a bonus how many can you apply to right so you can maybe you can do this and now you come up to like you get 30 schools that you know fits your whole criteria do you have the money for 30 schools can you do 30 primaries can you do 30 secondaries can you pay for 30 primaries and secondaries no so then you now you know have to like really down a little bit based on what you can afford so as well what do you have the capacity to apply for but for me that was how i decided on mine how i got to my 20 um 
and yeah so thank you so much for watching this video i know it rained so you might have heard like some rain background noise let it be a little nigeria let me be giving you a nigerian spice you understand just sprinkle a little bit of nigerian spice in there but um i i know that um you all have come through with me so far i hope you're enjoying my videos i hope you're enjoying the vlogs i'm putting out i hope you you learned something from this video and this video was useful uh, uh, for you um till the next time you see me i remain your girl ada adora um just keep watching my videos keep showing me love we're on the road to 400 subscribers i want to get to 400 subs in fact i want to get to 500 subscribers before i leave nigeria but let me not be too you know but at least i want to get to 400 subscribers if i leave here so please continue to support me continue to like my videos comment share and subscribe okay thank you thank you thank you so much until next time bye mm -hmm.